If you're managing a Google Ads account, what's the best way to track conversions? Should you import conversions from Google Analytics or should you use the Google Ads conversion tracking tag? Both methods can give you reliable tracking, but there's a few important differences to be aware of. And in this video, we're going to use three criteria to determine what the best method for you is going to be. So the first criteria is attribution settings. How well does it help you understand which campaigns and which campaign types are driving conversions? The second criteria is enhanced conversions availability. And the third criteria is ease of implementation. How easy is it to set up? Be sure to stay tuned to the end because we'll also talk about some key reporting differences between Google Analytics and Google Ads. And I'll also give you my personal tracking preference as someone who's been working with both of these platforms for almost 10 years. So with all that said, let's get started. Let's talk about attribution features. One of the most important things to know about the difference between measuring conversions with Google Analytics versus the Google Ads tag is that Google Analytics can't see view through conversions. This is a huge deal if you're spending money on the display network or YouTube because if someone sees your ad and converts within the view through conversion window, then Google Analytics will have no idea that that happened. And so one of the biggest downsides to that is that you could be under attributing the efficacy of your display or YouTube campaigns and may under invest in your top of funnel marketing. So for that reason, I have to give the point to the Google ads tag. The second criteria to consider is enhanced conversions. According to Google, enhanced conversions can help you track up to 5% more conversions happening on your website. And Google does this by matching up user provided data like emails and phone numbers with Google account data. And so because this can help you get more efficacy out of things like smart bidding, the point here goes to the Google ads tag as well. And third, let's talk about ease of implementation. If you're already tracking what you consider a Google ads conversion in GA4, then this is a pretty easy setup option for you because it doesn't require you to do any coding or to create any new tags in Tag Manager. But if you're not tracking conversions in GA4 yet, then I would say it's a draw at best because either way, you'll still need to set up a new tag, whether it's in GA4 or Google Ads. So if all things are being equal, then I would say Google Ads has the edge here because of the features that we've already covered up to this point. So now that we've covered the differences in tracking conversions with GA4 versus Google Ads, it's important to note that you can and probably will see differences in how the same conversion is reported between Google Analytics and Google Ads. So the first thing that we've covered is that you will probably see differences if Google Ads is tracking view through conversions because those won't be captured by or reported in Google Analytics. The second thing to note is that Google Analytics and Google Ads count when a conversion happens at different times. Google Analytics registers a conversion at the time that it happens, which sounds pretty straightforward. But Google Ads, on the other hand, attributes a conversion to whatever ads led to that conversion. So for example, if someone clicked on one of your ads yesterday, and then they came back to the site directly today, and then processed a conversion, then Google Ads is going to log that conversion as having happened yesterday, because that was when the ad click that led to it happened. So based on the score and where we're at by this point, you can probably tell what my personal preference is also. It's the Google Ads tag. Because of features like enhanced conversions and being able to measure view through conversions, I find that the Google Ads tag just gives me much more accuracy when I'm measuring campaigns, especially if I'm working with someone who's running campaigns on display or YouTube. So if you have any questions or requests for future content, then please leave a comment below. And if you found this video useful, then please be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.